hey everyone welcome today we are going to look at the OCP or the open close principle within solid I have a simple scene set up and the only thing we need to focus on right now is the scripts folder in which I have a few scripts attached but before that let me explain what OCP is what OCP basically means is that if we want to add new features to our project or our game then there should be a minimum risk of introducing bugs to the existing functionality and this is the whole idea behind OCP classes should be open for extension meaning we can extend the functionality but they should be closed for modifying the existing code so let's look at an example without OCP first. Here I have a few classes, an enemy class, a game class and a game manager class. Let's open them up. So first of all, let's start with the enemy class. This enemy class has an enum which has different types of enemies, an enemy type and a calculate damage function. This looks good and it works. Each type of enemy will return a different type of damage. The game class holds a list of the enemies and a function to calculate and add enemies to our enemies list. Now this game manager is responsible for starting our game. Here we create a new game object and we basically add zombie and vampire enemies to it. Let's move this to the side. We can add werewolf enemy as well if we want to and then we calculate the total damage and simply print it. But what if we want to add a new enemy type? We can do that really easily. Let's add over here hmm, Dracula and here we'll just create a new case enemy type dot Dracula and we will simply return 50 from here looks good and let's add the enemy to the game objects list so game dot add enemy and we'll create a new enemy and just simply pass it the Dracula Now for adding the enemy, we made change to the existing code in the enemy class over here and in the game manager class over here, which goes against the open close principle and there is a high risk of introducing bugs into our code. So let's refactor this and make it follow the open close principle. So with the open close principle, what we are going to do is we are going to convert this class into an interface. So it can be an interface or an abstract class. So let's create a public abstract class enemy. And this will only have one function public abstract integer calculate damage. And this will take integer damage. So this is the only function we'll have in this abstract class. Now let's create our enemies. So for that we are going to go to unity and we are going to create a C sharp script. Let's call this. Hmm, let's call this our zombie. And how we are going to create enemies is really easy. We'll create a public class zombie and this class will implement our abstract class which is enemy and we can simply implement the abstract class and add our functionality here this is going to return let's say 10 as simple as that and we actually don't need this damage so let's just remove it as we are only returning the damage this will cause similarly we can create the other enemy types you can create uh, separate scripts for this but for the sake of simplicity I'll do it here public class our next enemy is vampire and this is going to be enemy and this is going to implement the abstract class 
and this is going to return 20 now let's look at how we can use these enemies so in our game class we don't have to change anything this will remain like this and in our game manager class here we will basically say new zombie and here we'll say new vampire and keep the rest the same as it was so here we have applied the open close principle meaning if we want to add new enemies we don't need to change the enemy class we don't need to change the game class the only thing we need to do is add or extend this class which will basically be creating a new class and extending it basically not adding to it so this is the whole idea behind the open close principle that classes should be extended instead of changed so these are open for extension and close for changing so let's add the director enemy we just added so game not add enemy new empire no it's i think so dracula new dracula and this was the open close principle for you guys and i hope you guys found this video educational and entertaining i'll see you in the next one